This is how to do a wheelie with the king of wheelies, Dougie Lampkin. <laughs> Dougie, we're going to start with the three, or well, should we start with, if you're a complete beginner, how are you going to go about doing your first ever wheelie? It's easy, isn't it? Just wheelie. wheelie talk. <laughs> Wheelies are one of them things that, it's like driving your car, I just ride down there and wheelie back up, so to explain it, it's a lot more difficult, it seems to be with me. Problem is wheelies is, everybody's looked on the internet and everybody thinks they can do it in five minutes, about five years and you'll be somewhere near, but my sort of bullet points for doing it are never try downhill or even slightly downhill waste of time too hard uh, uphill's even better make sure there's plenty of grip good thing about trials bike is go in second or third first of all just get a feeling for the engine try and do it just on the engine See, if you start popping the clutch straight away uphill you'll be laid on your back your mates will be laughing at you and it'll be a different type of video so yeah it's just trial and error really there is no magic wand to wheel in but as soon as you catch that moment then you start using the clutch a little bit and then you start dragging the rear brake it all takes time but anybody can wheel it you just cannot do it in two minutes So let's start with you talked about using the clutch. Just show me physically how you actually go about using the clutch. Well, I try and get a nice constant throttle, and then just at uh, the moment when I want to lift the front wheel, I push on the front a little bit, and at the same time as I release the front forks, I just drop the clutch. Right. And that little nip just gives it a lift to get it into like that sweet spot where you need it. That's the problem that you're going to find. Most of the time, obviously, you won't do enough and then you'll have the odd time where you get carried away and it goes over the back it's just you've just got to catch that middle bit but you do learn it yeah and talking about going over the back how do you avoid that happening um it normally hurts so you've sort of <laughs> had enough of it after that but yeah it flicks on your backside it's all happened to us we've all been wheeling up to the car park here and falling off the back it don't matter how good you are it don't matter if you're tony bow or you. Yeah, no, definitely me. You it's still fall off. Yeah. You still fall off wheeling. <laughs> it's normally in front of a crowd. Yeah. And so you talked about using the rear brake. How do you use the rear brake? Yeah, that's something that I do more on a sit down wheelie. Normally when I'm wheeling like up the track here and, and, and what have you, I'm trying not really to use the rear brake too much. It's like an emergency button. When I'm sat down, I drag the rear brake all the time. It just gives you a little bit more time uh, that you're not sort of floating the front up and down. but. You can't drag it too long because it warms up and then it's, yeah, you blacken the disc and, yeah. Wheelings, it's not easy. Everybody loves it and everyone wants to do it. It's like 180 flick turns. Yeah. Everybody wants to learn how to do one. It's like getting, me. Your, getting your knee down on a superbike is the first thing everyone wants to do. Yeah. And then do a wheelie. If you are doing it on a superbike, please use the rear brake because it's a bit more catastrophic. Yeah, but similar type of thing, you would start by just lifting the front wheel a little bit and just having a little bit and then you sort of get it a little and you think you're somewhere near but you're not actually. That's when you fall off the back when you think just a bit more. Yeah. Same for this, probably the same for every bike. Good thing about a trials bike is you've got a bit more bottom end where you've got a, that sort of sweet spot area is definitely bigger on a trials bike. Yeah. So shall we go through, I'll just pretend you've never done a wheelie before, what you are going to do for the first time that's going to do a wheelie and then we'll work up to once you're going to wheel around the Isle of Man. Right. Are you doing that? I'm definitely not doing that. Is that breaking that. news? <laughs> it's not breaking news. <laughs> uh, so, like I said, get yourself plenty of room so you can get yourself nicely positioned, fairly central on the bike. And then what I try and do is pick a little spot and there might be a little bump on the hill going up or a stone or something that's just going to help you do it more in control to get the front wheel up. But yeah, a little nip of the clutch once I've pushed the forks down and that'll pull the bike up 
throttle really nice and constant. As soon as you start flipping the throttle, your body's going forward and you're, you're not wheeling anymore. So nice and constant. Try and keep the front wheel spinning, it is easier, it goes straight. If you pull the front brake on straight away, you will start weaving. There's no way you can stop it. That's an Isla Man trick. Uh, just nice and smooth on the throttle, body position, relaxed. Why are you looking at me when you said relaxed? <laughs> if you'd seen me two seconds ago. I've How never seen anybody <laughs> steer a trials bike with the knees, but you can do it. We well, have to when your arms are rigid, fixed solid. We've only done 25 <laughs> metres, you said you had arm pump. I tell you, this retirement for you, you need to just uh, have a look at yourself. <laughs> Right, Come so... On, get your bike out, let's do some wheelies. Okay, let's do some wheelies. You can have a laugh at me getting arm pump. Right, I'm going to pass the camera over. We're not quite big time enough yet, though. I've got a cameraman, but we're building yeah, up to that. Hey, but we're getting there, don't we? We are getting there, right. Normally I've got something to say, but I thought Neil Hodgson was worse at wheeling, but actually I've never wheeled as slow in my life. I was fighting myself up there, it was like figure of eighteen as I were coming round. You know I said it doesn't happen in two minutes. Mm. It doesn't happen in I two agree. minutes. But then it's strange because you've had a couple of goes and on towards the end of the second go, you actually didn't get a nice straight wheelie, but it's weird how it's strange. That's how trials is so annoyingly different that you can see when you go to wheelie your body just goes like that yeah and your legs go straight i'm so tense and you're just fighting it yeah and then when we turn around the top you say i've got arm pumping yeah. you're thinking hang on a minute how is it possible how can you do that yeah you're an athlete i've got athlete's foot that's about as far as it gets <laughs> come on let's right. have, another we'll have another go, go. so uh, what do you think i need to do a little quick? bit quicker yeah let's wait till we get here on proper straight and we're yeah. just going for it because you're thinking about the corners you don't need to do yeah but just a bit more relaxed on the bike because your legs are so stiff on it when it hits a little bump it's just you're, you're you're working against the bike so it's just bringing the front down yeah okay if you want we can go on tarmac you feel a bit more at home i might drive, be more at home on tarmac we're going to tarmac tarmac anything to make this less painful top tips based on my uh, limited trials riding experience definitely helps having a flatter surface because there's less to think about yeah definitely helps going faster i think you've got a bit of momentum going sure yeah um don't attempt wheelies around someone that has wheelied around the other man tt course because it's demoralizing no matter how good you think you are you get humbled really fast and relax which i'm still not doing you don't breathe <laughs> I don't. I get to just the end before of you lift the front wheel, you go. <laughs> it's that I spent most of and my just race career. Tense up on it. Yeah, I can just about do it for a race, but I'm struggling up a driveway at the minute. I'm not going to laugh too much because I did get my knee down once, and I was punching the air going down the pit lane, and Ron Haslam went, "You've not won," <laughs> uh, and he knocked me down. Now I was world champion on Honda, and I thought he's right, but I did get my, my knee did down. Yeah, that happened. Did you? Yeah, pulled straight into pits, well, and parked it up. You completed it at that point. That was it, job done. Yeah. I mean, my legs are long and they had a massive lean on and they were like nearly touched it anyway, but still, knee down. Yeah, that was a good effort. I think we'll have to repay the favour at some point. No, 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 yeah. you're fine. I, uh, well, if there's nobbles on, I'm happy. Yeah. The flicks, mm. no. Well, thank you very much, Dougie. It's been an amazing day. I hope people have enjoyed the uh, wheelie tutorial. We've got an interview as well to watch if you haven't already watched that. And I'll. Until next time. Until next time. See you on some tarmac. Thank See you. you.